Jack, with this one, there's a different stretches of different runs. What did you see that was the difference maker? Yeah, we talked a little bit about it uh, as a team after the game. You just look at the our defensive numbers, the quarters, 35, 27, 13, 28, is like my heartbeat was watching USA versus Netherlands kind of thing. We want more like uh, when my, wa my wife watches like those Hallmark movies, Hallmark, right? Just nice and across the board. So a little bit more consistency kind of thing, you know? So great third quarter, start out game too much at the beginning of the game. Uh, so the consistency, and that's turnovers. Uh, couple of second chance points where kick out for threes. That's us not capitalizing in transition. Also, we had plenty of opportunities, especially in the first quarter. Uh, so a little bit of everything, but that team had 103 points and we didn't play our best. And you mentioned earlier that this was going to be a test and a challenge for this group. What did you gather as a whole as you walk away from the court from where your team is right now? Yeah, overall, uh, good to see TJ back out there getting the mix. So we're accomplishing some things, figuring out some units, figuring we can play small and big like we did tonight. Um, we can defend uh, as we did in the third quarter. And now uh, can we consistently do it? And so um, uh, good for us to take a look at what the recipe is and now can we continue to produce that recipe over and over again. Coach, got two quick ones for you. Uh, you guys jumped out to the 11 to two lead and then they came back and took a 16 to 11 lead. Just what did you see in that that swing? Because it kind of felt like that. Yeah, a lot of that was us Christians. Imagine it was like uh, we had five turnovers in that stretch with a bunch of them being we got a three on two or two on one or four on three and we didn't capitalize. Quick turnaround. And so I, I told them this is a high quality basketball game. So you got to make high quality plays over and over again. That's how they erased that lead very quickly. And second, just Kevin, obviously 31 points, but he had the eight turnovers. Just what did you see from some of the reads that he was making? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Then I look on the other side, and Tatum had nine. And so uh, so you go about it. Those dudes uh, garner a bunch of attention, um, putting them in positions where both teams show crowds to the best player out there. That's just a part of it. Can we have some we, where we don't give them up as easily maybe in the four, first quarter like we did? Kevin had a two-on-one break with Nick. Maybe we don't turn that one over. Maybe that's a dunk or a layup. And he doesn't have eight. Jacques, you, for most of the game, you played eight guys. You got a little out of the bench. For, I mean, you talked about TJ coming into his own, Seth had foul trouble. Given their length, did you think about going to Kessler, Dayron, Keith, some of the guys at the end of the bench to give you more size? No, I looked at the stat sheet, and he went with eight also, pretty much. And so uh, uh, I thought just that's the way the game was going to play out. We got two days off uh, before our next game. Um, I always think about what can be next. Like Seth picked up those quick fouls. Um, the shooting piece around it, uh, could we have put someone else in? Uh, always thinking about it. We're trying to get an advantage. And I think over the course of the night, we made them not play Cornette because of the way we went small. Uh, so that we both were kind of going back and forth the chess match. 